Welcome to Club Firefly. I'm Keisha, and today I am so excited because we get to read one of my favorite books. Mixed, a colorful story, written and illustrated by Ari Chung. Mixed, a colorful story. In the beginning, there were three colors, reds, yellows, and blues. Reds were the loudest. La 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 la. Yellows were the brightest. Bling. And blues were the coolest. <sniffs> Everyone lived in color harmony. Riding their bikes, riding the bus, hanging out in their houses. Ooh, look at the unicyclist. Uh-oh. Something doesn't look right with this red. Until... One afternoon when a red said, Reds are the best. Red, reds are best, number one. Hmm. These guys don't look too happy about that. And that red's not even sure. The yellows disagreed. No, we're the best because we're the brightest. The blues were too cool to even respond. You know, we're not even going to respond to that. We're, we're just going to walk away. The colors decided to live in different parts of the city. Reds in Redville, blues in Blue Town, and yellows went to Yellow Heights, all separated. But then one day, a yellow noticed a blue. And something happened. I feel so happy when I'm near you. And I feel so calm when I'm with you. Yellow and blue became inseparable. Life felt so vibrant. But not all the colors were happy about it. Colors shouldn't mix, said Red. I don't like yellow's effect on blue. That blue isn't bright enough for yellow. But yellow and blue loved each other so much, they decided to mix. They were married. Together, they created a new color. They named her Green. Green was bright like yellow and calm like blue, but really, she was a color all her own. Look at Green in her little garden. Everyone was fascinated. She's so cute. I've never seen anything like her before. Even the grumpy colors fell in love with green. Can I hold her? The colors began to see new possibilities. Soon, the other colors mixed. Red and yellow made orange and mixed. The blue and the red made purple. And mixed and Mixed, look at all these beautiful colors. 
there were so many new colors and a lot of new names. <gasps> Be careful, Jade. There's Jade. And don't forget your glasses, Lavender. There's her little glasses. Have fun, Amber. The old neighborhoods of Redville, Blue Town, and Yellow Heights didn't make sense anymore. Everyone wanted to live together, so they rebuilt the city. They took down all of those signs and separations. Look, they brought in the construction vehicles, dump truck and the cement mixers. Look at them living together at the cafe, in the sandbox. The new city was full of color. Look at all these colors. And that is maybe the longest bike I've ever seen. Eating ice cream. It wasn't perfect, but it was home. And that's the end. Look at how many colors there are back here. Did you notice how that's different from just the three in the front? All these beautiful colors mixed. This book is a great reminder that even though we're all different, we are all beautiful and life works best when we stick together. Now it's time to create. Today's project inspired by Mixed, a colorful story, is colorful creatures. And for this project, you will need a palette or surface for mixing paints on. I'm just using a lid to a Tupperware. Paper, three or four sheets. You'll need some paints, red, blue, and yellow. I'm using acrylic paints, but you could use temper paints or watercolor, even whatever you have. A cup of water some brushes, and a paper towel for cleaning off those brushes. And once our paints have dried, you'll need a pair of scissors, a glue stick, a black Sharpie, and a white colored pencil. You can press pause now if you wanna go and grab your supplies. The story of Mixed is all about colors mixing. So today, you will make your own mixed creatures. The first step is to mix the colors, and then once they dry, you'll add details and turn them into whatever you want. Let's get started. Did you notice how our book just started out with three colors, red, yellow, and blue? These are our primary colors, and you can mix these three colors to get all the rest, all right? So let's start with red and yellow. And you can just open up your paints, put a little bit of paint on your palette, all right? We'll keep our, our um, colors separate at first. All right, so I've got some red there and I've got some yellow on my palette. Okay, now what color do you think red and yellow will make when we mix them together. <laughs> All right, let's find out. So I'm gonna take some of my red and add it to my yellow. I add my dark color to my light color. <gasps> what color am I getting, friends? That's right, it's orange. So now take your orange that you've mixed and let's just paint a little circle of it on our paper. You all have mixed the color orange by combining red and yellow. All right, let's make another color. What will happen if we mix yellow and blue? All right, I'm gonna make a little pile of yellow so I need a new clean pile of my yellow. And let's try some blue. 
All right, now this time I'm going to add my blue to my yellow and let's see what happens. What color is it gonna make? <gasps> You're right, it made green, just like in our story. Let's make a circle of green on our paper. All right, now there's two colors we haven't tried yet. What two primary colors do we need to mix together now? That's right, our blue and our red. So I'm gonna clean out my brush. I can blot it on my napkin here. All right, let's see what happens when we mix our blue and our red together. You ready? Add some blue to my red. What color is it gonna make? Oh, it made purple. Isn't that so cool how colors mix to make other colors? And I'm gonna draw or paint a circle of purple on my paper. So we started out with our primary colors of red, blue, and yellow and we mix them to get these secondary colors. These are called secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. But you know what? We can keep mixing. So now I want you to mix more colors. Maybe you make a lighter orange or a darker green. Let's just keep mixing and see how much fun we can have with more colors. Wow, look at all of these colors that we made with just blue, red, and yellow. We made 12 different colors from just three with our color mixing. Isn't that beautiful? is. So now you want to wait for your colors to dry and then we will turn them into creatures. Now I have uh, some dry colors that I've already painted and have already dried and look there are some of the different colors from the ones I just did. Some of them aren't even the same as these. Even more colors. So I'm gonna move all of this stuff out of the way so that we can turn our colors into creatures. All right, so now I'm all set up with my dry colors and I'm ready to turn these into some creatures. Now, do you all wanna see some things that I made before? Okay, check out this little guy. He looks a lot like the one from Ari Chung's book from our story Mixed. And here's another one. Oh, I turn my orange and my purple into a little ladybug or some kind of bug. So what will you turn your mixed dots into? Hmm. Today, I think I'm going to cut out some of my greens and turn these greens into an alien. Yeah, an alien. All right, so all you're gonna do is just carefully cut out your circles of color. And sometimes you can change the shape of them if you wanted to. They don't have to stay round.
They could be another shape. And for this one, this one is going to be the head of my alien. And I actually wanna make the body a little smaller. So I'm gonna cut it into kind of like a little oval, little oval shape. Okay. There we go. Does that look like head and body? Okay. So use your glue stick to glue them down to another piece of paper. And I'm just putting my glue on the back of my circles. So it just stays exactly where I want it to go. Then I'll glue down the head of my guy. Okay. All right. Now it's time to add some details. And that's what your Sharpie is for. So my alien definitely needs um, some antennas, right? Let's start there. Let's give them some antennas. I can color those in. Another one over here. Yeah, nice, nice. And then he needs some eyes or maybe just one eye. We'll give him just one eye and a nose and a mouth. A little smile. He's a happy alien. All right, and I'm gonna use my white colored pencil to color in the eye, just to kind of create a little contrast from the green. So I'll color that in, and maybe I'll color in the mouth too. Maybe he's got some teeth. All right, can you all see that? I colored that in, nice. And then I'll add in a little circle for his eye. And what else does he need? Ooh, arms. Definitely arms, little alien arms, maybe some fingers. Yeah, there we go. And another arm over here with three fingers and some little legs. But where is this alien? I'm gonna put him somewhere. Is he floating in outer space? Is he, oh, he's probably in his little flying saucer, right? So we've got to make a flying saucer for him, for sure. He needs something to fly around in. So I'm just gonna add some lines here for his little saucer. Maybe it has a bottom to it. There we go. Now I've made my little mixed alien creature in his flying saucer. What do you all think? It's pretty cute. He's pretty cute. Um, Hmm. Should we make another one? Okay, let's make another one. This time I'll use some yellow. The orange shades, the more yellowy orange shades that we mixed. And maybe this time I'm not making like a living creature but I'm making a building. Like what if I were to cut these and maybe now they're, they're squares or rectangles. Hmm. Let me get another piece of paper here. So I can have one square like that. Oh, this is giving me a good idea. <gasps> Maybe the top of it's like that. Do you think I could make like a little mixed city? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna keep cutting these out and making some buildings out of them.
there is my little mixed city. <laughs> I use my shapes to make little buildings and put them on a road and some trees. So you all can use your mixed colors to make whatever kind of creations you want to. And I can't wait to see what you have created. I hope you all had fun making your colorful mixed creatures. I would love to see how you've practiced color mixing and you can share your creations with me on our Facebook page at Club Firefly Kids. And remember to join the club by liking and subscribing to this channel. Until next time, keep reading, keep creating, and keep on shining. Spread your wings, shine your light, Club Firefly. Spread your wings, shine your light, Club Firefly. Spread